Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how you can make your own auto-saving shop for your Roblox game. Now, if you think this is going to be too complicated for you, I have a free model linked in the description. So first, what we're going to do is go into Storage GUI. Let's put in a screen GUI and name that Shop GUI. Now, let's add an image button or anything you want. So, let's put in the coordinates for where this is going to go. Okay, this looks pretty good. So now, we are going to add a UI constraint to this using the auto scale light plugin now let's add in the ui stroke to this we're just customizing this now so all right now let's find a good image in the toolbox so let's use that one yeah we can just get the id from that so now we can make the shop itself so let's just name this shop button shop frame now let's customize this to our liking all right so now we have the main thing here but before we do anything else, we're going to add in our first two scripts. But before we do that, we are going to have to add uh, this thing, which is going to be like the close button. Okay, now it looks good. So let's add a scale to that constraint. Okay, now let's do everything else. All right, perfect. So now let's add in the first script. So let's go into the shop button, local script, and let's name this open script. We're only going to need three lines of code. So script.parent.mouse button, one click. Okay, so this is the first script. Now let's go here. This is gonna be the closed script. Okay, let's test this in game real quick. Okay, it works perfectly. Nice. So now let's go into our shop frame. We can customize this by adding hex, like right here. Okay, perfect. This is gonna be called the shop label. Okay, perfect. So now what we're going to do is let's add in another frame. Okay, so we're gonna call this tools and now let's customize this to our liking. We're gonna add in a UI grid layout and now let's add in a frame so we can customize to how we like it. Okay, perfect size. So now we can delete all of the other frames. Let's name this frame template. Let's first add in a tool name. I mean, so first let's add in a text label called tool name. Now we can customize this a little bit. Now we're gonna add in a tool image. Wait, first let's name this tool image. The next thing we're gonna add is another text label. This is gonna show um, how many coins you need to buy this. All right, now the last thing we're going to add is a text button. And let's name this the buy button. Okay, so now let's change the background color. All right, um, here it is. So this is what the final thing should look like. In our template, we have a buy button a tool image, a price label, and a tool name. Now before we start scripting everything, let's make this invisible. And we're gonna have to make a leader stat system. So let's add in a script and service script service. Name it, name it leader stats. Now let's begin scripting. All right, this should be the final script. So once we play it, you can see that now we have some coins. And now we're gonna actually get into setting up the stuff. Let's add in a local script. Let's name this setting up tools. So before we do that, let's go into replicate storage, add in a folder and let's name it tools. Now let's add some tools in here. All right, perfect. So now for each one of them, we're gonna add in an int value. And let's name it price. Now the value is going to be how expensive you want the tool to be. So the Bloxy Cola can be 100. Now let's add it to everything else. The cheeseburger is also going to be 100. The hot dog is going to be 101. And then the pizza is going to be 150. Because I can. Okay, now let's go back to the script. Okay, now let's start scripting. All right, here's the final script. We're gonna add one more line of script soon, but for now, let's just see how this does. All right, so as you see, we have all of the prices here. 
So now let's go into replicate storage, name this events, remote event, and then we can name this using tools. Now let's go into the template, let's add in a local script, and let's name this tool script. And we're going to disable it for now. So now let's go back to setting up tools. So before we set the new frame visibility to true, we're going to make sure the tool script is enabled. Okay, there we go. That's the extra not line we need. Okay, now let's go to the tool script and let's start writing. But we're going to leave this how it is for now, and now let's go over to server script service. Now this script is going to be a bit shorter. We're going to call the script handling tools. Let's do that. Now let's start scripting. All right, here's the final one for this. And don't worry guys, we are almost done. We're just gonna have to add one more script in here. Let's name this saving tools. Okay, this one's about 31 lines of code, so. All right, now that we finished this one, we just have one more thing to do. So let's go back to this tool script. So that should be all of the scripts done. All right, now let's go into the game and test to see if it works. Okay, it, lo it works perfectly fine. Now the reason why it says equip for my Bloxy Cola is because I was testing it yesterday and I bought the Bloxy Cola. That's how powerful the autosave is. Let's buy the hot dog. Let's buy the pizza and the cheeseburger. So now if we leave the game and rejoin it, since we bought everything and now all says equip, and we could just close this as normal. So if you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.